hello and hello everyone this is Sharina with creativity on a dime as you guys can tell I have not been on YouTube for a while and that is because I decided to create my own candle company so the purpose of this video is just to help inspire everyone who decided to create their own home business all of the items that I'm going to showcase today I've already either had at home or I purchased it for a small amount so hopefully, again, this video helps inspire you all to get organized and make the best of the company that you have at your home. Here we have my packaging area. I purchased the bubble wrap and the brown boxes from Uline. They're basically in a small, medium, large. I also got the USPS priority mail boxes as well as the back envelopes online. And all they did was deliver it to my home for free. I went to Michaels and purchased these contact papers so that way I can do my product website images. And I went to Replica Surfaces website and ordered three different boards. And these boards are so awesome. I'll make sure to link their website in my description box because they have been a great addition to my photography. Next, we have a stand that's carrying all of my empty vessels, as well as my empty boxes for my candles and my reed diffusers. On the top shelf, we have my matte black vessels that will be for my luxury line. Next to that, we have some different fragrances that I'm using for it, as well as some different props for pictures. Next to that is my go-to item. This is something that I created. Basically, I put all of the things that I needed to make my candles more efficient and I put it all into this clear container. I have my microfiber towel, I have a soap cutter that I use for my wax cutter, I have a wick stamper so I can easily stamp each vessel with a wick. I have some wick clips as well as some wooden spoons to stir the wax and the fragrance together, some wick stickers and my go-to wicks that I use for a majority of all of my vessels. I also added some greenery around this stand. This is the same greenery vines that I used in my dining room video, which I will make sure to link below if you're interested in seeing that. These are my go-to vessels. The clear jars are for my tropical line. The reason why is because I use coloring for those candles and I want you to see the bold colors. And the amber jars are for my original line, which is the lighter herbal musk scent. On my third shelf, I have all of my wax melts um, that is for the Tropical and Original line. I have the Tropical line in these black bags with the window in the front so that way you can see the different colors and the names of the scents that I'm doing for those. They come in large, medium, and small. Each scent is very, very tropical s, and I absolutely love it. I have maybe six different scents for that particular line. So make sure if you are interested, I will link my website below so you can check them out. These are my clamshells. These are four different scents that are not the original scents, but close to it is like blackberry sage and tobacco and vanilla, Egyptian and musk, black and linen, and wonderful, it's just some great scents. On the fourth shelf, we have some glossy black boxes that I will be using for my tropical and original collection. And on the last shelf, the tall boxes are for my reed diffusers for the luxury line, which you'll be seeing in a few minutes. Now, the middle section for my candle studio, it has majority of everything that I go to. I have a sign with a pin cushion up top so that way I can put important notes or if I'm missing some items and I need to stock up on inventory, I just write it down on there. I have my wick stickers, my candle stickers, some hand sanitizer, some wipes to clean the tables and counters off with, which is above so I can easily grab it and know that to put that on the items. I have my pouring pictures that you obviously need for candles. You cannot go <laughs> without the pouring pictures. And instead of me nailing it on the wall, I just use one of those commander strips that is aesthetically pleasing as well as functional. I also have the commander strip shelves. That's what's holding my sign as well as the stickers above with. So once it's time to move, I can easily take those off with no problem. 
I purchased me a Presto pot so that way I can melt my wax without having to use the double boiler at the stove. For now, I'm using a stainless steel ladder until I'm able to get one of those spouts to pour out the wax. I have a wax warmer, some wood wick clips, and some gloves. I'm also having another jar for my wood wicks. I'm just waiting for them to come into the mail. Here I have some scissors, some candle wick trimmers, and my wood wick trimmers. These are my <laughs> go-to items and I keep losing them, so I put them right in the front. I also have my calculator and my scale to measure out my wax, a couple different lighters, so that way when I'm testing, I can easily grab it with no problem. I purposely left this station blank because I also use it to do my product photos for the website as well as package my items when it's time to go out to the customers. Here we have the tropical reed diffusers. I was so obsessed with the candles that I decided to make the same exact replica of it but in a reed diffuser form. Next to that is my luxury reed diffusers. I have one in white and one in black. The one in white is called Classics. The one in black is called Allure. I have them with the white and the black sticks. They are so fragrant, so bold. It's, it smells so great. It's such a luxury scent and I cannot wait for people to try it. I, I think it's absolutely wonderful. Below that, I have one of my black wire baskets that holds all of my wicks. I ended up grabbing so many different size wicks and also wooden wicks because I was testing. So I decided to keep these just in case I changed some of my jars up and I have easy access to try those wicks out as well. Next to that, I grabbed some magazine folder holders as I would call it. <laughs> um, here, I basically just have each one of them labeled. They all hold different items for me. It's just an easy access for me to not have to be going through different boxes trying to find something. This next section holds a couple different items. I have my fragile stickers, I have my packing tape, my scale for my packages, I have my tape measure so I can measure out my boxes. I also have some free samples for every purchase. I have my luxury wax brittles in these. So these will be added to every purchase that um, the customers makes. I have them inside of my little bowl. I have a scale for my fragrances and I also have this glass jar that I'll be using for my reed diffusers. I just place some different um, two ounce fragrances that I purchased to see if I liked it or not. I have some clear rubber bands in the background for my reed diffuser sticks as well. I place some more greenery around this stand and again that's from the same greenery that I placed on the wall in my dining room. This section here has all of my cards that I'll be adding to each purchase. Um, I have my thank you cards and on the back of it it has a coupon for the customer. Next to that I have my candle care tips. These are just quick tips for the customers to know how to handle the candles when they have it. I place both of those in these black wire baskets. I also have some black envelopes in the back. I will be placing the cards in those envelopes and putting it inside of the package. These are some black wrapping paper that I'll be wrapping a lot of my items in just to keep it blended together. Um, here are my luxury wax brittles. I have three different scents for these and each one of them has a great, great luxury scent. They also are infused with different herbs. I have one that has roses, one that has lavender, one that has... Um, Forgive me not flowers, they're all different kind of things in these goodies, they are so wonderful. Here I have my different fragrances that I use. I like to mix up a lot of fragrances to get the right one <laughs> that I want for each candle. And I just threw a little plant up there for decorations. Here is the different glitters and mica powders that I use for my wax nut melts for the tropical line. Um, I have the glitter, I have the mica, I have some um, different colorings for those as well. Next to that, I have the glitter that I add to it as well. And then I have some different colorings that I use for the Tropical Collection candles. Next to that, I have my wick trimmers and my wick snuffers. These are uh, purchased separately and basically it just helps 
your candle lasts longer by making sure you clip it correctly as well as instead of blowing out the candles you use the snuffer so that way it doesn't clog your wick below that I have just two random boxes <laughs> or bins I should say one has a bag full of paper cups and plastic cups and toothpicks that I use for testing purposes I also have my molds that I use for my luxury wax brittles as well as my tropical wax tarts um, next to that is again another bin that has different things in it I have my clamshells I have my stand-up pouches in there I have different herbs and bags in there some different props underneath it is just a little junk basket that needed to be out of the way but make sure that it's all together in some sense this section here is coming in towards the dining room area it's just a little stand that i have different items on um, i basically have my paper towels and some aluminum foils to wrap jars in to keep the heat inside so that way it can bind better to the glasses i have some testers for my luxury line i have three different scents these scents are so great i'm just currently waiting on my wood wig so that way i can test it out a little bit further um, i have some extra gloves i have a heat gun you definitely have to have a heat gun if you're going to sell candles you definitely need it <laughs> for everything um, i also have my microfiber tile next to it as well here we have my different waxes that I use and these are the three brown boxes that I showed you earlier taped up so that way I can try each candle out and make sure it fits. These are the containers that I put my waxes in. Um, I might change them up later but I just put some parchment paper on top of it so that way it can stay cool and not melt or anything like that. In this bag I had some jars that I was going to use for the fall season the spring season but I'm thinking about using these for another project so I just place those on the side for now because I will be using those eventually next to that I have some more luxury containers that I'll be using eventually I just place them on the side for now I also have some plastic bottles that I'll be using for a different project later I'm currently using my dining room table to make larger batches of candles and make sure that they're out of the way and not all over the place. All right, you guys, here's a quick overview of my candle studio. I hope this video inspires you all, especially my candle fellow makers. I hope that anyone who has their own business from home can utilize some of the tips and items that I purchase here. Trust me, even though it's in your home, you can make it look great and be functional at the same time. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, make sure you do so. Don't forget to hit that like button, leave me a comment. I will also leave my website address in the description box just in case you're interested in purchasing some candles. And until next time, you guys, let's stay creative. Bye.